Each year in Africa, hundreds of children are orphaned and abandoned. Many left to die by the side of a road. Some dumped in garbage cans. Others left in fields or abandoned buildings. While all of our hearts are touched by their tragic stories, how many of us are moved enough by how we feel to actually do something to help these children? This is the story of what one woman did that has brought hope to these children for over 25 years. It all began in the heart of Elizabeth Mwazi when she was just a young girl growing up in a small village near Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Africa. Elizabeth attended a Christian boarding school for girls during her high school years in the city of Arusha. Next door to the school was a hospital that had a wing dedicated to taking in abandoned children. Most of the children were babies. Some had been taken to the hospital by parents or family members who were too poor or unable to care for them. Others were brought by the local social welfare departments. In either case, the hospital was able to provide excellent care for these children with the help of the teenage girls from Elizabeth's school. However, they were only able to care for the children until they reached the age of three or four. At that point, the hospital no longer had the resources to meet their growing needs, so the children were returned to the parents or family members that had abandoned them. Elizabeth said the girls were never told what happened to the children once they left the hospital. That is until one day when they received a message from the nurses about a little boy that had been given back to his parents. For whatever reason, the hospital decided the girls, including Elizabeth, needed to know that the little boy had died. They were told that he died because his parents had not been able to provide for them. The girls were devastated. It wasn't long before they discovered that many of the children that had been returned to their parents had also died. Elizabeth was especially hurt by what had been revealed to the girls about these precious little children. She decided that something had to be done to prevent this. And as she tells the story, it was at that moment in her life that God laid on her heart the idea to start a Christian orphanage to take care of abandoned children and prevent tragedies like this from ever happening again. Shortly after graduating from high school, Elizabeth came to America to complete her education. She became a teacher, married, and raised two boys of her own. She often shared her story and her desire to do something to help abandon and orphan children in Africa. But it wasn't until she shared it with a small group of Christians at a Bible study in Yuba City, California, that something began to happen to make the vision God had given her come true. Together with another group of Christians in Arusha, a nonprofit organization was formed that would be used to establish a Christian orphanage. It would be called Samaritan Village. The year was 1992. The orphanage began in a small house on the outskirts of Arusha with three little babies. Two of these children were adopted and the other became the first child to be raised at Samaritan Village. Not long after the first children arrived, a young man fresh out of college and deeply committed to Christ was hired as the director. Joseph Nyani has remained the director and father of the orphanage ever since. As more children began to arrive at the orphanage, an opportunity came to purchase land on the outskirts of Arusha. The land was covered in banana trees, but after clearing out some of the trees, there was space to complete the first building that would become Samaritan Village Orphanage. A great deal has changed over the past 25 years. Today, the orphanage has four buildings. These include the original building that holds the dining hall, where the children and staff enjoy their meals each day. There are also dormitory rooms for young children, as well as a kitchen area. A newly renovated nursery where babies who come to the orphanage with medical issues can be better cared for was recently added to this building. There is also a two-story dormitory where the older children live. This dormitory has rooms for up to 48 children. Here the children can study, relax with their brothers and sisters, 
and even work on the computer. In addition, there is a chapel where the children at the orphanage and members of the nearby community come each day to worship and be taught about the God who loves them and His Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Plans are underway to expand the chapel to meet the needs of the growing number of children and local community members who come each day. The newest building is a three-story dormitory medical clinic. This building was just completed and will feature a first floor medical clinic for the children and surrounding villagers to come and receive medical care by a permanent staff as well as visiting medical personnel. There are also dorm rooms on the top two floors. The addition of this new building will allow the orphanage to expand to over a hundred children. And this brings us to the most important part of Samaritan Village, the children. In the past 25 years, Samaritan Village has rescued over 150 orphaned and abandoned children. Over 100 children have been adopted by families in Tanzania and three other countries. Currently, there are close to 50 children being raised at the orphanage. Samaritan Village provides them with food, clothing, medical care, and a Christian education. But more than this, each child has been given a place they call home. Filled with brothers and sisters and mamas. And a father named Joseph. Some of the children raised at the orphanage have now graduated from high school and are attending college or a university. One of these is Anna, one of the original children who was brought to Samaritan Village. Anna is now in her first year of law school. God has truly blessed Samaritan Village. And now, others, including the Tanzanian government, are recognizing the work being done at Samaritan Village. In the spring of 2017, Joseph Ath, the director, was chosen to speak at a conference in Kenya to share how to run a successful nonprofit organization. He was one of just five directors of non-governmental organizations chosen in the entire country of Tanzania and the only orphanage director asked to speak. A few months later, Joseph Ath was appointed as the director of the Association of Orphanage Directors in Arusha, Tanzania. The organization is sponsored by the government and meets monthly to discuss how to meet the demanding needs of orphaned children in Arusha. The word has even spread across the world as volunteers and visitors from Africa, Europe, Japan, and the United States come regularly to visit and help with or learn from the work being done at Samaritan Village. It truly is an amazing story of children, once abandoned, but now given hope and a future, thanks to the vision God gave to a young high school girl that would become a very special place called Samaritan Village. To hear more about Samaritan Village and how you can be a part of rescuing abandoned and orphaned children in Africa, by sponsoring any of these children or by volunteering, visit us at SamaritanVillageOrphanage.org.